Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. I think this video is gonna go up on Sunday because I haven't recorded like any other videos besides my Shake It Off with Angela and besides my, um, you know, Judy videos or whatever um, on my way to work in probably almost three weeks. I feel like I haven't recorded anything, you know, other than those two types of videos. So I thought that I would give you guys a little vlog today. Today is another rainy, dreary, windy, cold, crisp Wisconsin October day. And um, my mom and I are going to be going to Costco this morning. I'm not sure if I'm going to record any of that, but I need to get, <clears throat> and I have the list in my head. <clears throat> excuse me. I have the list in my head of uh, what I need to get. So I need to get Rayo's tomato sauce. I need to get some chicken noodle soup. Um, oh shit. I knew I should have wrote this down. I need to get that like um, broth paste. I can't remember what it's called. It comes in like chicken, vegetable, beef. I want to get a chicken one and I want to get a beef one. Um, what else do I need? Shoot. I know that, the, oh, I wanted to get some vitamin water because when I was sick, um, I wanted to make sure that I was hydrated. So I drank all of the vitamin water, which is fine. Um, and I wanted to look for, um, do I, I don't really need protein drinks. I need, Oh, I wanted to look for protein, um, protein pasta. One of my friends said that he tried all of the protein pastas and he didn't like any of them. Leave a comment down below if you guys like a certain brand. Um, he said that they all tasted off to him, but I feel like it may not bother me. Like I may be fine with it. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I wanted to get that and I'm just trying to think like what else I wanted to get. I know I'm going to forget something. I wanted to get like some possible like chicken, chicken legs type thing. Like if they have any in their deli, you know, type department or whatever. <coughs> oh, you guys, my cough is still there. Um, the doctor prescribed these cough little gels and um, I haven't taken them yet because I can feel like stuff in my chest. And I feel like if I take that, then it won't allow me to cough the stuff up in my chest. It's like a catch-22, you know? It's like, do you want to stop coughing? Um, or do you want to continue the cough and try to get stuff up? I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. Um, but anyway, that is pretty much what I'm going to be uh, doing today. I might be, I don't know, I need to get like some vegetables. I'm so I might get like broccoli or something because I'm I'm not going to meal prep this week. Um I don't think. Oh, it just sounds like a lot of work. You know, it just sounds like a lot of work. Um but maybe I will portion out the chicken noodle soup for at least half of the week. Uh because I do plan on getting two tubs of that. One of my neighbors literally just walked right in front of my window as I'm in my sports bra. And they have a pretty big size pit bull. And I'm scared of big dogs, like not just pit bulls. I'm scared, like the only dog that I'm really like not scared of is a golden retriever. Um, Like I don't like black labs. I don't like pit bulls. I don't like great Danes. I don't like Doberman Pinchers. I don't like Rottweilers. I don't like any of that. Like they all just scare me. And yeah. Okay. Anyway, they're gone now. Um, so I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh, catch 22 with my cough. Don't know what to do. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get dressed and I'm going to, um, wait for my mom to come. She's going to pick me up. We're going to take her car. And then she has to go to Chico's to get like a sweater or something. I don't know. So I guess I'm just going to wait in the car because I don't feel like going into the mall for anything at all. But but yeah, we'll see how today goes. Well, I'm still waiting for my mom to get here. And I'm watching this woman eat 
all of these chocolate cookies and donuts and this way I won't buy anything like that at Costco. I can watch her eat it. I was going to show you guys my nails. Here they are. So cute. They look kind of like blood, like blood that is dripping down. Oh, like Dracula. But yeah, I like them a lot. Oh, she's here. Oh no, she says on her way, meaning she's running. Okay, guys, I got way more groceries than I thought I would. They had all of the chicken and all of the lands there. So I decided to pick them up. The only thing that I couldn't find was the protein pasta. I don't know if I didn't go down the aisle of the pasta, but I didn't see any pasta at all. <coughs> and I feel a little out of breath because I put everything in the trunk and stuff and I had that vitamin water which literally probably weighs like 50 pounds not gonna lie like it's pretty heavy um but the whole trunk is filled I don't know where my mom is I told her I was checking out she messaged me several times um so hopefully she's coming soon because I want to get this stuff home but she has to stop at Chico's first to pick up a sweater and yeah so I will show you guys what I all got when I get home. Um, I'll do a little Costco haul in this video. Like I said, I got a lot of chicken because I've been craving, um, I've been craving chicken, rice, and a vegetable, like probably broccoli, because I love broccoli. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know. I've been craving that, so I think I'll probably, I don't know if I'm going to actual meal prep because the chicken that I got was already cooked and all you have to do is like pop it in the air fryer. So, and like to cook rice isn't that bad. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just cook like a cup of rice and then section it out to um, a fourth cup serving. So I'll at least have like four servings or whatever. And then um, I can just steam my broccoli every day because I hate like making a big batch of vegetables and then having it sit in the fridge for four days and like on the fourth day, it's kind of just like, ew, not so good. But yeah, I don't know where she is. I told her to have the trunk clear. It was not. Um, so hopefully she didn't buy a lot of things because I have eggs in the back seat because those could not fit. Um, so she's not going to be able to fit anything in the trunk. Hence why I told her to have the trunk empty so I could fit all my things in there, but whatever, whatever. Um, oh, my nose was running a little bit. I was coughing a little bit inside Costco, not too bad. You know, my cough isn't like one of those like naggy coughs. It's a cough. Oh, here she is. Did you Hi. not lock this? I didn't lock it. I didn't have the key. You did. I see. Okay, well, it's all right. The trunk is completely filled, so you'll have to put your stuff in the back seat. Trunk is completely filled. I can put one oh my God, I swear to God, I swear to God, I swear to God. Please don't shove stuff on top of my stuff though. Cause you're gonna have to take out all your stuff anyway so I can get my stuff. What is she doing? All of her stuff. No, I have my eggs over here on my side. Just put them on your side. I have my I have my eggs over here on my side, so just put them on your side, please. Well, why did you smash my hat down? I didn't smash any hat down. Okay, we're at the mall now. Um, so she's got this hat right there, the black hat right here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, like this witch's hat that she smashed down again herself. But anyway, um and it was smashed down with this sack, this sack, whatever is in here, um, that she herself put on top of there. And I had the white bag in the middle. Um, and she thought that I was the one who smashed her hat when in fact it was her. She slammed the door on me, which you guys saw. <clears throat> she gets these like manic, gets really upset type moods and um she only I noticed is like that with me she is never like that with anyone else just me 
I'm just the one that's blessed uh, with her manic episodes. But anyway, um, so yeah. And then she proceeded to tell me that this was only her second time going to Costco when she's been going to Costco for almost four years now. She didn't know that you needed to show the receipt to the person, whatever. Anyway, so she's inside of the mall right now getting her stuff and I cannot wait to get home um, <clears throat> and just do my own thing. This is why I don't like bringing her with me to places. I'm better off just going by myself so I don't need to deal with all of this drama. Okay, guys, this is everything I got at Costco. So let me go through everything with you. We will start out with the Starbucks Holiday Blend Coffee in the K-Cups. This is the limited edition. I get this every year and they had it in. So I was just like, oh yes, let me grab some. I also got the chicken um, sipping bone broth. This is really good. And I feel like it's going to help like loosen up some of the gunk in my chest. Um, I got the double pack of Rayos. This is the marinara sauce. I got miso ramen. I don't know if I had this before but my daughter loves ramen so i got her this one and then i also got her the freezer one um that we have had before that she really liked i got some cage-free eggs i got i went with the cheaper version just because it was cheaper um i got some chicken skewers some of the amy lou caramelized onion and aged white cheddar um chicken patties I got some strawberries here. They looked pretty good. I also got some broccoli as well. And then we got the rotisserie um, chicken noodle soup. That looked really good. I'm going to stick this in the crock pot for today and let it cook for a few hours on high um, so I can have that today. And also got some Simply Campbell's chicken noodle soup. You guys, like I said, I really went overboard on the chicken this time. I don't know why. I'm just craving it immensely. Um, I also got some creamy almond butter from the Kirkland brand. And this is the Better Than Bouillon. I got chicken and I also got the beef. I got the vegetable last time and I got through half of the container. And when I opened it up um, the last time, there was a little bit of mold on there. So just like, oh shit, like that has never happened before and I don't know why. So I had to throw it. So anyway, I got the chicken and the beef. Um, I also picked up some of the Tyson rotisserie chicken breast strips. I got some light um, laughing cow cream cheese. Um, I like this on my uh, Wausau crackers. And then I also like this on some rice cakes. That's like a really good like filler. Um... If I have extra calories left over, I got some of the farm raised um, Atlantic salmon. This is the boneless, skinless without the antibiotics. And then I got more chicken. This is the brand that I absolutely love. So it's 23 grams of protein, three grams of carbs, and it's just really good. It's lightly breaded, um, but the company is real good. Last time I was at Hallmark, I looked for it and I couldn't find it. So I'm glad I found it this time because the last time I was at Costco, I couldn't find that either. This one is the strips. And then they also have, um, they also have chicken nuggets, I think as well, but I've had the, the strips before and I really like them. And then the last thing I got was my vitamin water. Love this stuff. It comes in the lemonade, dragon fruit, uh, blueberry, pomegranate, and tropical mango. So all of these groceries came to $200, so not so bad. So I have the dishwasher going in the background. That's why you guys hear that noise. But I have some zero sugar caramel macchiato that I'm going to be frothing up in my cup here. Got my little frother. Just gonna kinda go at it. I, I can't do this one hand, you guys. I have to like tilt the cup, hold on. Okay, I get it to like where it doubles in size. And I think we're there, it's kind of frothy. I don't know, this thing isn't really like the greatest, this little milk frother thing. I got it at Big Lots and I think I need to get a different one. Maybe a bigger one? Okay, anyway, I have everything in there all frothed up. And I have some, which one did I pick? 
the pumpkin spice is in there already. There it is. We're going to choose the biggest one here. And we're going to brew our coffee. I got all of the Costco groceries put away. So I just want to watch my Korean shows in peace with my coffee. I also have the chicken noodle soup warming in the crock pot. It looks so good. Um, I found out that this is 110 calories per cup. So that's not bad at all. Um, and it just, it smells so good in my kitchen. Our coffee is getting added in there. You can see the cream is all frothed up. Looking really good. Okay, and cheers to you guys. Let's taste it. Mmm. It's nice and hot and creamy and pumpkin-y. Okay, guys, I'm gonna open up this package um, on camera. This is from Randy, and I wanna say it's a birthday gift. I'm not sure. I wanted to make sure that our addresses aren't in there. And, oh my goodness. Oh being outside my nose is a little bit clumped okay what is this it says happy birthday Angela he did not have to do this this was really sweet and don't mind me I'm doing it one hand attempting here okay Rocky wants to get in on the action as well oh there we go you're one of, hold on, oh my God. You're one of the coolest bitches ever. Dear Angela, happy birthday. We hope you have an amazing day. Best wishes, Randy and Michael. Thank you so much. That's so sweet, Randy. Love the card. I don't want to get this stuff all over the place, but oh, he got me some tea because I've been so sick. Well rested Trader Joe's herbal tea. We love a good Trader Joe's moment. So does Rocky. What else is in here? What is this little thing? Oh, cute. The micro tote grocery bag from Trader Joe's. So this must just be like a little bag that you can take with you. And it opens up, I'm guessing, into a big, huge bag, right? I'm guessing. What does this say? It's two bags in one. Inner grocery bag folds and is stored inside this micro tote bag. And the micro, micro tote bag is compact and easy to keep with you all the time. So you're never without a reusable bag. Love that. You guys, we don't, we don't have a Trader Joe's here. I'm so upset. Like the nearest Trader Joe's for us is Milwaukee. So that like sucks. I've never been to Trader Joe's before ever, ever. Okay, and what else? Some Trader Joe's Harvest Blend Herbal Tea. Ooh, caffeine free, thank God. So I can have this at night before bed. I will definitely be trying this out today. I'm all about the teas, you guys. Um, I've actually been drinking more tea than I have coffee, to be honest. Um, ooh, he got some scented candles, autumn leaves, maple sugar, and spiced chai. Love that. Thank you so much. So sweet. And what is this? Pumpkin body butter. We love a good body butter moment. And pumpkin body scrub. I've never had the scrub before. I've had the body butter and it's absolutely amazing. It's like one of the best <clears throat> body butters I've ever had. It like melts into the skin so fast and it just hydrates. But yeah, I've never had the body scrub. So I'm excited about that. And then <clears throat> he also got honey hydration day and night cream duo. Is this for the face? Is this face? Let me see. Maybe it's face or anywhere. I don't know. Oh, directions. Apply to face and neck. Ooh, I cannot wait to use this. I've been looking for something like new, um, something different for, you know, nighttime and daytime use for hydration. And you guys know that we need all the hydration we can possibly get. Um, so thank you so much, Randy. That was so sweet. Oh, and Rocky. I should show him more, you guys, in my videos. I really... 
I, you know, I've been so sick lately and stuff and I really haven't shown him, but he has been by my side through the entire time of me being sick. So I have another package to show you guys. This is by the company Bedrock and they are out of Oregon. Um, is it Oregon or Oregon? I say Oregon. I don't know. Um, so they sent me the Porfector, which um, is something for your pores. I haven't tried it yet, but I am very, very interested in this um, because I have really big pores, you guys. I feel like the older you get, the bigger the pores you have. And also a little known fact, um, I had the chicken pox when I was 17 years old and I got it really bad on my face. I didn't have like a very bad, um, what I want to say, like reaction to the chicken pox, but the ones that I did get, I got like in weird areas. Um, and one of the areas was obviously on my face. And, um, ever since then I've had like pores, like in my T zone that have just not closed up since then. So I always use something for my pores. So I cannot wait to try that out. And let's see, um, you can follow them on Instagram. They do also have an email and their, um, shop is bedrockskin.com. Um, so you can, you know, follow them. Their, um, handles are all just bedrock skin. So definitely check them out. And yeah, it says AZ for Angela. We are excited for you to see what these products can do. And I am super excited about that as well. Then they also sent some deodorant. And you guys, I have had such bad problems with my deodorants uh, recently, just irritating my armpit. It is awful. So here is the fresh stick of the deodorant. And this, I believe, is eucalyptus. And um, here's what it looks like there. You push it up kind of like a push pop. There you go. And the dog loves smelling it as well. Just don't eat it, please. Oh, it smells so good. It is a beautiful eucalyptus scent. Um, it's very smooth. It feels like it's going to be um, very like cooling to the touch type of thing. Um, and it, it just glides right on. So that I am super excited about. Then let's see, what is this? This, um, I believe is the Porfector. Yes. So this is for the pores and it comes in this cute little packaging here. And let's open this up and see what this is too. Okay. So if Rocky could move, please, he is just so interested in everything I get in the mail. You guys, it's so funny. Um, so this is the skincare gift. This is the Bedrock Balm. It is the best barrier cream to calm skin concerns. Um, you know, I'm guessing for like dry skin, irritated skin on your hands, elbows, knees, um, anywhere you get, you know, kind of like problematic skin. So I'm definitely going to be checking this out and trying it out. And it um, doesn't really have that much of a scent. It does kind of smell a little bit. Oh my gosh, Rocky, really? Like cucumber? No, you can't eat it, baby. Although it's probably safe for you to eat. But it does have like a little cucumbery type scent to it. But it's like a really fresh, kind of clean. What are you doing, baby? You're so funny. You're so silly. Um, a fresh, clean fragrance to it. So thank you so much, Bedrock, for sending me these products to try out. I definitely will. And then I'll report back to you guys and let you know how everything went. How cute is he? How absolutely perfect is this beast of an animal? I cannot tell you guys like how reassuring it was for me to have him like near me when I was sick. He never left my side. <clears throat> he snuggled with me. Um, he wasn't a naughty boy when I was like sleeping or taking a nap. He didn't have any accidents and trust me he could have because there were times where I just literally like couldn't even get up to like let him out and he was such a good boy and he's so well mannered and he's just he is like the perfect little angel I could ever wish for in a son like I've never had a boy dog before I've only had girls and having a boy dog is a little bit different obviously than having you know a girl dog 
but his like demeanor and everything he's just so so sweet he's such a good little boy aren't you rocky yeah you're such a good little boy you're such a good little pumpkin hmm Oh my goodness. I can't get enough of you. I can't get enough of you. He gets groomed um, next Friday. So I'll probably vlog some of that. Take you guys along with me when I go. Okay, guys, we're going to get going and end the vlog here. But I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for sticking with me, even though I haven't been posting any videos. I haven't really been doing anything on YouTube. Um, so if you guys are watching, thank you so much. Rocky Rococo and I are going to go relax and watch our Korean shows. The one that I'm watching now, it it's something, I can't remember what it's called, but like the end of it is cha-cha-cha. So whatever. I don't know. It's so good though. I'm obsessed with the Korean shows on Netflix. Um, but anyway, have a great weekend and I will see you guys all tomorrow with another Angela and Judy show. Bye everyone.